you'll see all of the video we use throughout this newscast. Our top story today, understandably the latest on that assassination attack. We are also tonight talking about classified documents in this case dismissed for the former president, Donald Trump. We'll explain why that is and why that case could potentially be filed again. Plus, we're live at the Republican National Convention. Big news already coming out of there. Let's get right to it. We're going to move to the main desk here, chat a little bit more about these stories, and we start with the convention tonight. Presidential nominee Donald Trump. He, of course, got enough electoral votes today formally to become the nominee, but the bigger story, J.D. Vance will be his vice presidential candidate. The first-term senator from Ohio, just 39 years old. If the Trump-Vance ticket wins in November, Vance would be the youngest vice president in nearly 150 years. Trump, in choosing Vance, highlighted his military service, his success at Yale Law School, and his best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy. We'll head live to the Republican National Convention a little bit later in tonight's newscast. Now to more about those documents. The Florida judge overseeing Donald Trump's classified documents trial dismissed the case against the former president today, saying the appointment of and funding for special counsel Jack Smith was illegal. Judge Aileen Gannon, a Trump nominee to the bench, said her 93-page decision that Smith's appointment was unlawful, she agreed with Trump's team. The contention that the Justice Department cannot appoint special counsel saying the job should be left to Congress. 